This is an absolutely insane point from the Onyx Center. Deserves a standing ovation. I mean, what else can you say about this kid at this point? Number one in the world, on grass, just one in Halla. And that was one of the points from this week that he won and shows how his evolution in his game has now translated to the grass. And I'm going to break down this point and show why it speaks to why I think he can win Wimbledon and why he's going to be a really good grass court player for the rest of his career. So welcome to The Slice. If you're new here, thanks for being here. Smash the subscribe button. And this is a new segment called Highlights, where I'm going to break down points from actual ATP matches and give you, give you my thoughts, give you funny reactions, give you insights into what I think is going on in these tournaments and games of players. So we're talking about Yannick Sinner here, obviously. The world number one going into Wimbledon, right at the top of many people's power rankings. And I think this point shows why he's at the top of mine as well. So let's go through it together. Big serve from Marijan. Let's just back it up there. Big serve from Marijan. Not the greatest placement, but Yannick Sinner returns it from, the, from deep behind the baseline. A little bit of short return. And then Marijan hits the dropper. You can see here that center is well behind the baseline, but reads it right away and moves up super fast to it. Now, I think the drop shot might have even clipped the tape from Marijan, which made it even harder to get. But as you can see, Yannick Center slides into this ball and then puts a really good back backhand slice shot cross court that ends up having to pull or pulling Marijan way off the court. And because typically in this position, like, the point should be in, in a huge favor of Marijan, and it was. But the fact that Sinner was able to get up to the ball so quickly and slide into it with stability, he's able to put a great shot on it that goes cross court. And Marijan can barely get to it. And he can just basically flip it back over the net. And you can see Yannick Sinner is already back on his feet, already running cross court, and he does it. He gets there and has to dive. Now, he puts it back in the middle of the court, but look how Yannick Sinner recovers from this. I mean, he's like the Batmobile in Batman. It's it, five rolls back to his feet. And now Marijan does another slice underhand, which he probably now regrets and wishes he did a forehand topspin shot there because this allows Sinner to get back diagonal cross court to the back of the court. Turn it down. Oh, he's made it again! He loves it. The crowd loves it. That deserves a standing ovation. Probably wants to hide under a rock. So that point, you saw center be in the back right returning, get to the front left, get the ball, go to the front right, dive, get the ball, get back on his feet, and come to the back left of the court to hit an amazing passing shot. And now this is just one point. It doesn't really tell the story of someone's game or the match or the tournament. But I think in this point, you can clearly see how Sinner is moving on the grass. And that's a huge aspect to players becoming really good on grass. They have to be able to move. So Sinner has done well at Wimbledon so far, obviously. He made the quarterfinals uh, before losing to Djokovic in five. Last year, he made the semifinals while losing to Djokovic again. But since Wimbledon, basically, last year, he's been the clear number one player in the world. And... I think he's starting to be able to figure out how to move even better on grass. He's kind of been, his movement has gotten better every month. It seems throughout his career, he's getting more comfortable with his body. But in this video, you can show that his movement is absolutely elite as good as anyone's basically is on the grass and his speed is there, his ability to like change directions and not slip his ability to dive, get back up on his feet and move around. That's pretty amazing. So going into Wimbledon and going into his the rest of his career on grass you see the best ever players on grass Djokovic Federer those guys they can move on grass and not slip and they know how to change angles how to do everything with these little nuanced steps Carlos Alcaraz figured it out last year obviously winning Queens and then winning Wimbledon Yannick Sinner seems to have really figured out now winning Hala playing points like that and now he's going into Wimbledon as my favorite to win it all and I think his movement is going to be a huge part of it. So 
What do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts down below on this point. It was absolutely crazy. Uh, and if you haven't, thanks for being here. Or if you haven't subscribed, thanks for doing that. Thanks for being here and stay tuned to the slice for another episode of highlights coming at you very soon. We'll see you next time.